a bit frustrated. You know, it's, you're going one 0 down. We were a bit of team in the pitch at that point, um, but I think the boys reacted really well. You know, the way they they came back and we regrouped, especially after half time. Um, okay, it helps they get a mountain off, so we get we, we kind of get that overload in the mid midfield. But I thought the boys were, were really really good. The only thing I'm really disappointed about though is is our our lack of known and anticipating things in the final third, especially in the box when crosses come to the front, nobody's taking that gamble enough. Than me personally, been there myself, I know exactly what it's like. And that regret of not going there when the ball ends up coming to where you should have been, it's the worst feeling, you know. So these things, I think we need to be better off. That's stuff we need to work on on the training pitch. Get further. We are working on it, but we need to be doing more off because in a game like that today, when the amount of crosses and chances we get, and we're not getting at least two goals out of it and win the game, is a wee bit disappointing. So we look at that as a as a thing we need to work a lot on. But overall, you know, we if we got what we, at least what we deserved, at least a draw. Um, and you know, it should have been a game we should have won in the end. Though. Can you take the positive though from the fact that you totally dominated midfield and you did create the chances, but as you say, yeah. just the men weren't there in the end? Yeah, but I mean, you know, like we we were proud of the boys of the effort they put in and how we got there to the final third, the way we were building and our shape, and the way we worked our shape was was excellent. Um, some top performances out there as well. And but like I said, that bit though is the one to win games. You know, if you, that's the one going to take you to the first team, if you go and grab the goals and you you to be a top striker like Morelos and, and the rest of them, and Defoe and all that, all of them, that's what they do. You know, they, they go and get the goals in the, in the crucial times of games and when you need a goal, when you need somebody to pop up with a goal, that's where you need the characters to go and do that. And today we missed that a bit. But, you know, I think we missed the, that end product of somebody being the end of a cross or a pass um, and be a bit ruthless. Celtic obviously hit you in the break a couple of times second half but three top saves from your, your goalkeeper Brian Kinnear yeah, Brian, Brian did really well for us in, uh, especially in the second half with, with the ones you were talking about there you know that's, that's well, we're pushing we're pushing to try and get at least the, the goal you know to get back into the game so we're going to leave ourselves a wee bit vulnerable a little bit open at the back it's normal um, and you expect your goalkeeper to, to try and help us out and all credit to Brian in, in that, but he was he was fantastic. Had some top top saves for us to keep us in the game, um, and give us a chance to actually maybe go and win it in the end. But eight days now until the Atletico Madrid game. Just tell me how much everyone in the academy has looked forward to that challenge. Yeah, it was great. You know, I mean, you wanted to build on from this. You know, I mean, I think we looked at it was something like eleven ga games, one in the bounce we've had and up to this game. Um, but still, we've not lost it. You know, you get a draw, um, we move on from that, and then we're going to take the good momentum we are on at the moment, the high wave we are going on, into the Atletico game. Uh, the performance we did today, take that on to that game and uh, hopefully go and get a great result.